Hello cookbook friend and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I wanted to go over this amazing Mexican cookbook. It's called The Mexican Home Kitchen. This is by Melly Martinez. She has her own blog. I'll make sure to have the link in the description below so that you can actually go check it out before checking out the cookbook. But I know that this has been this is kind of a highly rated Mexican cookbook. It's got a lot of um, just fantastic, authentic Mexican cuisine in here. And um, Melly actually lived in Mexico for quite some time, like throughout her childhood. And she ended up moving to the United States, and that's where she became a food blogger. So let's check this cookbook out because I know a lot of people really enjoy it. And I've been wanting to get my hands on it for a really long time. So here we go. We have, oh wow, this is a very, I know it's a little difficult to see, but this is quite an elaborate table of contents. So she lists out your main chapter names and it's all underlined. And then she has the actual recipes you're going to run into underneath with the page numbers. So we have in the first, in the first chapter, we start with soups. Then we go to main dishes. Next, we go into salsas and sides. Next is desserts and drinks, and that's that finishes it. It looks like it's probably over, I would say, 75 recipes easily. It, yeah. So let's move on. We get a good introduction. We get to learn how, like, what's in the Mexican pantry, all of your essentials, herbs, spices. We even get to learn, like, how to roast vegetables. Uh, we There's even recipes in the beginning on corn and flour tortillas. You get little pictures that are step-by-step -step photos so that you know how to do it exactly. Let's see. Ooh, God, these look amazing. So let's start with some soups. This is caldo de pollo. Chicken soup. This is perfect for this time of year. I am not a huge fan of Americanized chicken noodle soup. I just, I kind of hate it. I really love sopas. They're kind of my favorite thing in the entire world. So I'm, yeah, this is just a lot better. Plus, if you add a whole bunch of jalapenos and you're sick, it's like everything goes away. So I'm really excited to try these out. This is caldo de res. Ooh, cream soup. So this is a cream of corn. This is interesting. It's got kind of a greenish hue to it. I bet you there's some amazing... Peppers and oh, yeah, there's a poblano pepper in here. That would be really good. This is a soup that I actually make. This is my favorite. It's sopa de fideo. I love this soup. I love grilling the noodles beforehand and getting that golden brown. It definitely, this is, and it's super easy to make. I'm actually going to see, this is exactly the, the soup that I make. That's amazing. I'm so excited, but I don't use clove. Oh, it's garlic, garlic clove. Sorry. All right, let's move on to more than soups. We've got main dishes. Look at how beautiful all of the designs are. We've got tacos de steak, classic and delicious. It looks like most of these recipes, if not almost all of them, not every single one of them have photos, but a lot of them have photos, which is really cool and helpful. Here's a carnitas recipe. This is another thing that I tend to make often. What else do we have? Chili rellanos, yum. Ooh, the sauce looks so good. Let's see what else. We have albondingas. I have not, this is a Mexican meatball soup. This looks really good. I'm sure I, this might actually become a household favorite. I love it. It looks super filling, amazing. So you can see here, we have just kind of a little blurb about the recipe, but then we have on the top, we have prep time, cook time, and the yield. And then we go into all the ingredients on the left-hand side, pretty typical of a cookbook. And then we have the directions on the right-hand side. But you might be able to see here, if a little closer, it's notas, and you have extra information that for each recipe that might help or might enhance the flavor or maybe make it a little more authentic. So like for instance, this note is the avocado pit 
adds a little thickness to the sauce as well as a bit of tart flavor. So then we have some extra notes, like some cooks like to add a little bit, a little piece of orange peel to the stew for more flavor. I actually do that. So I love the little notes so that you can add and kind of mix and try try things out and maybe add a little more authenticity to them. Let's see. Ooh, chicharron and salsa verde. Yum. This looks really good. These photos are great. I love it. So this one is Descada Norteña, Northern Style Mixed Meats. This looks awesome. This almost looks like uh, some like Cajun style, but better. I'm so excited. Let's move on to what was some of the other chapters? I know there was a dessert chapter. I know. I'm kind of addicted. Ooh, already I'm seeing there's a tamales recipe. If I ever have the time to sit down and make a whole batch of tamales, I totally want to. I know it takes a lot of time. It, it would actually make a great party idea. So we've got tamales, but what's cool is that there is photos on how to actually stuff and fill them. I saw them, I swear. Oh no, where did it, here we go. So here we've got step-by-step -step photos, how to actually, you know, fill them and then wrap them and then cook them. So that's super cool. We have also in the back, we've got your different sau sauces and salsas. So this is a very simple guacamole recipe. We have arroz blanco. So even simple things like how to make white rice, Hispanic rice, arroz rojo. Awesome. I didn't even know there is a verde rice. So I'm excited to try this one out. It actually... I, I used to hate verde sauce when I was a kid, but now as an adult, it's some of my favorites. It's so fresh and so tasty. So I'm really excited to try it. Let's look at some of the re uh, the desserts because I could probably look through the whole entire book. I'm already getting hungry. My mouth is like watery. So, ooh, yum. This is an old fashioned birthday cake. So uh, it looks beautiful. This frosting almost looks like a, like a meringue. It's just gorgeous. It is a meringue. Look at me. And then we've got tres leches, which is my favorite. I totally miss it. I try to make it gluten-free. It, it doesn't have the same. It's interesting. Sometimes it's successful. Sometimes it's not. It depends. But this looks amazing. I love tres leches. And then here's some little here's some drink options. We've got agua de tamarindo. Tamarind has become one of my favorite things to put into beverages. I highly recommend everybody try it. Um, we have uh, atole blanco, which is a white atole. I've never had this before, but this sounds really good and very easy. There's only four ingredients. It takes five minutes, 20 minutes maybe to make. And then we also have, this looks really good too. This is a Mexican Christmas punch. And I know that you guys have probably all of your Christmas stuff all planned out already, but this is a really fun option. And this is something I actually want to try out one day. Very cool. So I definitely recommend the Mexican Home Kitchen by Melly Martinez. This has got a lot of really cool classics in here if you want to check out Mexican cuisine, if you've never cooked it before, or if you want to expand more than just the Americanized taco, because I know I grew up with Americanized tacos, and when I had like a real taco, it was just mind-blowing. So uh, I recommend this. This is super fun. For other cookbook content, come join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We also like to do a cookbook roundup on our podcast at Cookbook Divas. You can also check us out on our website at cookbookdivas.com. Make sure to subscribe and like our video down below. It means a whole bunch to us. If there's cookbooks that you want us to go through, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.